Hello boys and girls, today we're going to be researching flight. So we're going to find out some more information about flight and what it's all about. You can use a search engine on your iPad or tablet. You could um, maybe phone up somebody and ask them if they know anything about flight and flying. You could have a look in any books at home if there's any information about flight. Or you can use the sheets that we've put on the school website which have got some information about flight. So you can use our sheets or the internet or maybe phone somebody you know you, that you think would know a lot about flight and then you're going to gather all of that information and pop it onto a mind map all about flight. Okay, boys and girls, so here's my blank mind map at the moment because I don't really know much about flight. I'm going to use these information sheets that are in your pack or on the website or Google search to find out some facts about flight. So, first of all, let's have a look at these pictures. I can see that there's lots of different types of flight and aircraft. So I've already learnt two node words, aircraft, and I can tell that there's lots of different types of flight. So already from this picture, I can put different types of aircraft. That's an interesting word, aircraft. And I could have um, hot air balloons, airliners, seaplanes, sports planes, cargo planes, hot air balloons, they fly, airlines, they fly, and also seaplanes. I've not heard of seaplanes before. Maybe I could research those a little bit more on my iPad, tablet or laptop. Right. Let's have a look. This one is top, top 10 facts about flight. So, birds may have been flying for millions of years, but it's something new for humans. So that tells me already something else that fly flies. Birds. So animals can fly. Orville and Wilbur Wright are famous for creating the first successful aeroplane. Orville and Wilbur Wright. American aviation pioneers, the Wright brothers, were the brains behind the first controlled and sustained human flight on December the 17th, 1903. So just from this number two fact, I found out that the first successful, and that means the first flight that worked, was on the December the 17th, 1903. And it was these two brothers, Orville and Wilbur Wright. So I can write over here, first successful flight, December 17, 1903. So that was over 100 years ago and the brothers were called Orville and Wilbur Wright. Oh, I might want to research those a little bit more on the internet. Let me keep reading through. Oh, the famous artist, scientist and inventor Leonardo da Vinci designed parachutes, helicopters and a flying machine. Oh, wow. So we've got these, inven these inventors, Orbel and Wilbur Wright, who created the first successful flight. But then we've also got another inventor called Leonardo da Vinci. Ooh, very posh. Leonardo da Vinci. I think I'd like to find some more out about him. And he designed parachutes that fly. Parachutes and helicopters. Goodness, there's so many things that can actually fly when I'm reading this information. Keep looking for... Oh, the most famous aircraft ever was the Concorde. And that used to reach 60,000 feet and fly over 11 miles. 
So most famous aircraft was the Concorde. So we've, over here I've got different types of aircraft. So I could do a little arrow coming off there saying most famous aircraft was the Concorde. Concorde. Oh, maybe I could get my tablet and research the Concorde and see what it looked like. Concorde. Type that into my search engine. Search. Go to images. Wow. I could maybe print off one of those pictures or have a go at drawing it and stick it onto my mind map. Let's go back, click into Wikipedia. Oh, a Concar was a supersonic passenger airline. And the first flight was in March 1969. And it's finished now, it's retired. It's, they've stopped making them in 2003. So if you want to find some more information about a certain thing, you can research on your laptop, your tablet or your iPad. Let me see if I can find the Wright brothers. So it says that they invented the first flight. Oh, there might even be some videos that you could watch to find out some more information about the first flight and then add it onto your mind map. I'm going to keep carrying on with my sheets. I'm not going to find all the information because you need to have a go for yourself. Oh, insects, birds and bats can also fly. Well, I've only got birds. Maybe I could add on bats and insects. I didn't have that on my flight mind map. Let's keep looking through. Leonardo da Vinci, I've done a little bit about him. And the Wright brothers, I found out about him. Oh, the wings of an aeroplane make up just one element of flight. You actually need four forces to fly. One that push down the plane, up, down, forward, and slow it down. So it's lift, thrust, drag, and weight. Oh, let's add that on. Four forces for a plane to fly. Lift, thrust, drag, and weight. Maybe I could look on my iPad and see if I can find a video of that being explained. Oh, one of the most famous female aviators, which means a female pilot, was Amelia Earhart. And she was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, I'm going to add her on. Amelia Earhart. I think I'd like to learn some more about her. She was the first woman to fly solo, that means on your own, across the Atlantic Ocean. Now you can pinch any of the information from Miss Ford's mind map. You've got these sheets to find some more information. And I'm now also gonna show you some books that I've got some information in. Let's have a little look. This one's called The Science of Flight. You might be able to find some of these books online or when you do your research. And I've got my contents page here and I can see the forces of flight, magic wings, the power of flight, faster than sounds, <gasps> rocket planes. Oh, that looks exciting. I'm gonna go to page 18 and have a look at rocket planes. Whoa. Wow. The faster a plane flies, the hotter it becomes. Oh, I'm going to add on to my mind map rocket planes because I didn't know there was anything known as a rocket plane. So let's add that on. You can have a read through of the information. Oh, have a look. I'll flick through just so you can have a look and you might want to pause the video and you can have a little read at some of the pages. Magic of wings. 
fascinating fact, giant airliners need huge wings to lift their massive weight. Remember, you can pause the video and have a little read. Okay, let me close this book. And I think this book is going to have some more information for me to add to my mind map. 100 facts about flight. This looks very helpful. Has it got a contents page? Aha! Flying machines, early days of flying. Oh, I bet that'll be about the Wright brothers. Taking off and landing, passenger jets, helicopters. Planes for fun, planes at sea, flying into space. Oh, let's have a flick through. Remember, you can always pause the video so that you can have a little read. Oh, here's some information about the first flight. Maybe you could research the first flight. Oh, lots of different flying machines. Oh, engines. This looks exciting. Maybe you could research an aeroplane's engine. Propeller blade. Oh, there's lots of different types of aeroplanes. Spitfires. And this is a passenger jet. This is a sort of plane that some of you might have been on before to go on a holiday, but not at the minute, unfortunately. Oh, there, the red arrows. Maybe you could have a look into the red arrows. I'm going to add that onto my mind map of information. Famous planes. Red arrows. Maybe you could find some more out about that and even draw me a little picture or print a picture off and add me loads more information. This is just the start of my mind map and I'm sure yours will be loads better and you can find even more information. Remember, you can use my mind map, you can use the sheets that have been printed or on the website for you and you can use your iPad, tablet or laptop to research or a phone to research more information. Okay, boys and girls, go and give it a really good go. See what you can find out about flight and research as much as you can. And we can't wait to see what you know and share with us. Bye.